Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name's Elaine. I'm the owner of what? LBE. Hey, I don't really know what's going on with this camera. Okay, I'm always having problems with my camera. I really need to get it together. Um, but anywho, came on here. Um, show you guys what I'm working on for the moment. I'm about to switch it up once I finish this last one. Um, but came on here to show you guys my little cocoa melon chair. Now I um uh, I wasn't gonna do any chairs, um, but I've been sitting standing at these same two chairs I've been having in this in the shop for the past couple years now, okay? Um, and I'm getting inspired by all of you guys doing your little chairs. And I say, you know what? I got two chairs left. And I need something to do with them uh, quickly. And um, so that I can move them on out as well in inventory. So since I had a, 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 quite a bit of, um, well, I can't say quite a bit, but a few things in Cocoa Melon that I really didn't have nothing else to hardly, hardly really go with it. Um, I just decided to combine a few things. So I'm combining a swimming pool and a float um, in this basket or, you know, in this gift design or whatever because I have two two swimming pools and like I said, I don't have a whole lot of Cocoa Melon stuff. So I wanted to make something big, bigger than the actual float, the other floats that I'm using. So I was like, okay, let's do something with these chairs. And then I was like, okay, Lord, I got two chairs. I got two swimming pools. I got plenty of floats, but I got two swimming pools. So I'm going to combine two floats with those. That'll make it look, you know, kind of big. And then I was like, what else do I have? Then I remember that I had two Cocoa Melon uh, um, plushes. And when I mean by Cocoa Melon plushes, I mean like Cocoa Melon plushes. Okay. Um, so <laughs> I got these from Walmart um, because I was thinking about the floats. And honestly, though, I thought I had all floats and not swim pools. And then I went to go on the shelf to go through the Cocoa Melon stuff and realized that I had two swim pools. So it kind of came in handy. I got two chairs, two swimming pools, two Cocoa Melon plushes. Come on now. Come on, Jesus. Come on through. Uh, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about these this size plush um these are the chairs that i have um i got mine on clearance at walmart about three years ago and i used them um and honestly i thought i used them up until i looked uh up under my backpack over here and uh my my little rug i used to take pictures with i realized that uh i still had two chairs so i was like okay we're gonna combine this and make cocoa cocoa melon chairs so as you can see the plush sits in here nice and tight and I know y'all like, F.E., how you gonna put this back together with that taking up the whole space in the thing? Okay, again, I teach you guys or I talk to you guys about utilizing larger size items. Um, and that's just because it's, it's easier to me, it's easier to build um, your baskets uh, in a way to where you don't have to look for 12 million things to go in it. Um, and I know a lot of parents like to see a whole lot of stuff, but you can also give them that type of illusion um by giving them great products but yet you don't have to break the bank or break your break your budget and then try to figure out how you're gonna sell it when the basket's made um so some of you guys are pros at it honey y'all killing it in well, actually all of y'all are killing it in this game these designs honey because i am like whoa okay i done tapped my hand in a few designs and y'all done got me pulling out these chairs because i'm like i need to get to get these chairs with something um, so anyway, I pulled out the chairs, um, and like I said, I connected the, um, pool and the float together. So that made like a backer for this, but it still left a gap here. Um, so I'm gonna bring this closer so y'all can see. So the back here is just stuff with Easter grass, honey. I had to just fill in the space right there. I ain't got nothing else to go down here. But I did add in, um, some animal crackers from Dollar Tree. I told you I get a few things from Dollar Tree. So don't think I'm not, I don't purchase things from the Dollar Tree, okay? Um, I do purchase things from the Dollar Tree. It's just certain size items, okay? Um, especially if that's going to be included in the, in the cost and I want it to fill the basket up. I don't go for smaller, a whole lot of smaller stuff, okay? Um, I did add in a Cocoa Melon coloring book. I told you guys I got those in Walmart for 25 cents a piece. Or was it 10 cents a piece? 10 cents a piece. I don't know why I keep saying 25 cents. But anyway, 10 cents a piece and then... Um, I got the big cubes box of crayons where I can put a box of crayons in each one. And I'm talking about a box of 24 I get to put in each one, each basket. Um, this is the type of stuff I look for when I when I clean shop and when I shop in different stores. Um, and then I got the uh, Pampers 
um, swimming pants up here, honey. Everybody getting them until those things are gone. Every, well, every like toddler, kid, baby, whatever's getting those. Um, and then when you come around, as you can see, the cocoa melon is like the main attraction. Um, the plush is like the main attraction, and then everything else is just flowing around it to make it, you know, stand out. Um, so again, you got the boxes here for the major support. Um, and they are stiffed in there because I actually taped them to the arms of the chair before I put everything else up here. Um, and then I just basically connected everything to those. Once I put the pampers up here, they're of course connected to the coloring book and everything in the back. And then they're, um, I built everything else connected to those. So I got the cotton candy here. Um, there's bubbles. Um, there's these airhead snow cones. The little babies can have these too because the parents can feed it to them or whatever. Because um, I think you have to be at least one years old to get in that. Uh, swimming pool float so they'll be old enough to eat the snow cone um, gave them some sidewalk chalk I know they're probably not old enough for that but it never hurts to you know they siblings or their parents to get outside and you know just just entertain them a little bit um, and then of course I got extra snacks because they can't have like a whole lot of candy uh, I mean they can but yeah y'all know where I'm going anything that melts in their mouth is easier for them to chew then to have to sit there and try to chew on something with only one or two teeth in their mouth okay um so i end up putting um some honey bear graham cookies on uh, two bags of the cottontail mini white cheddar balls and um a bag of goldfish now i did add some eggs in here and somebody in the family can actually eat the candy out of them um but y'all know i only put starburst and skittles in my in my bag i mean in my eggs so, you know, they can break it down if they want to and feed it to their kids. It's however the parents want to do it, but somebody eat that candy at the end of the day, okay? Um, but I wanted to put in those eggs, and I didn't want to put in no empty eggs because I don't really have none empty. <laughs> um, so, anyway, with that said, um, I did four instead of three like I normally do on all my baskets because I wanted to be even. You know, I just like it to flow right to me. Um, not saying anybody else is not flowing right, but in my when I'm looking at what I'm creating, I want it to flow as best as i could possibly get it okay um so yeah so this is the finished product um to this uh y'all i swear for jesus <laughs> i hate the only thing i hate about going to the summertime is these bugs and when the lights are on in here i'm telling y'all i got two window acs so um it looks like i'm gonna have to do some extra reselling because i'm not about this life okay I got too much going on up here to be worrying about every five seconds something flying in through here. Um, so anyway, Jesus, <laughs> this is the finished product um, and um, I really like how it turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second one um, and so I'll have two like large or extra large chairs. I haven't decided which area. I know it's going to either be large or extra large um, because you know I do have the, um, the other float gifts ideas. Um, like I showed you guys on that on the short um, with the Mickey Mouse one. Um, I have two more Mickey Mouses and three more Cocoa Melons that I need to do. And then I have three little plain ones that I'm a plain colored ones that I'm going to add some stuff to as well. Um, but that's just some more stuff for the babies and for the young ones because I still have quite a bit of those swim pants that got to go. Okay. Um, I'm in the mood to uh, move out as much inventory as I possibly can in the next couple of days. Um, and I did pretty good with a lot of baskets yesterday. Um, I can't remember how many I've done so far today. Um, but I'm just gonna stick and move, um, here for the next couple of hours, honey, and get these things rolling. You heard me? Um, so, <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next video. Peace.